Welcome to Global Trade, a PBJ story. Today, global trade is often in the news. Worldwide trade seems complicated, but it is simply people trading ideas, goods, and services around the world. Today, people from all over the world work together. We trade ideas, objects, and actions. For example, smartphones are made of materials and parts from around the world. But global trading is not new. In the past, people trade together too. In ancient Egypt, pyramid builders drink Greek wine. In the past, Romans in Italy eat wheat from Africa. To understand global trade, let's look at the PBNJ sandwich story. Long, long ago, Wheat is a wild grass in Iraq. People learn how to plant it. They become the first farmers. People make cities. People bake wheat into bread. People in the cities trade with others. Wheat spreads throughout Europe and Africa. In the past, people also trade other crops like grapes too. In the past and far away, peanuts only grow in South America. Starting with Columbus, Europeans sailed from the Old World to the New. They trade things back and forth between Europe and America. This includes metal, corn, potatoes, and important to our story, peanuts. Years later, this guy creates peanut butter and a bunch of other inventions. He also makes over 300 inventions using peanuts. Next, our sandwich needs something sweet. In the past, sugarcane only grows in Asia. Western people sail to Asia to trade for Chinese goods like ceramics and silks. Next, expensive tropical Asian spices are traded in Europe. Westerners bring plants to Asia. They take sugarcane plants to hot places in the Americas. It is a sad fact of history that sweet sugar once bitterly used slave labor. Today, machines are used to make sugar. Next, let's make our sandwich. Wheat flour is mixed with these. Dough is baked to make bread. Peanut paste is mixed with these to make salty peanut butter. Fruit is mixed with these to make sweet jelly. The peanut butter and jelly are spread onto the sliced bread. Next comes the best part, eating the PB&J sandwich. Yummy! Amazing how pieces, once so far apart, are traded together to make the sweet and salty, tasty sandwiches. To recap, Global trade is not new. In the past, trade causes contact between different people and cultures. People share info on how to count and write. People trade products like paper and printing presses. People trade sugars and spices, metals and materials, fibers and food. Simply said, Global trade shapes human history. Global trade also has plus and minus effects. Money made by trade is not equally shared. Pollution increases by making and moving the many objects of worldwide trade. Jobs are often lost in the import country. There are positive effects too. Wow! Half of the world economy is due to global trade. Today, Global designs and parts make amazing products of our modern world. Global consumers get access to greater amounts of lower-cost goods. Today, people still trade ideas, objects, and actions. People share ideas and learning online. Energy is the highest value imports and exports. People mover objects like autos and airplanes are traded worldwide. Like PB&Js, electronics are made from materials and parts from around the world. 
the sum of traded parts, computers, and smartphones connect people around the world. Link people work together to trade online services like making software and apps too. Global trade enables our connected and modern lives. To close, the pieces of PB&J were once located far apart from each other. Over time, global trade by human hands and ships bring the parts together with delicious results. Globally, people trade ideas, services, and parts. May we care for our nature and our health and share the trade wealth too. May global trade networks enable us to create products for the mutual benefit of all. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 3 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded. Subscribe now 